What's up, HP2719? Back with a Mac tutorial. And uh, let's. Uh, this tutorial is about how to install Windows 8 on your MacBook Pro Air or any Mac with VMware Fusion or any other virtual device uh, or software. Uh, and uh, that's um, without messing up your computer, your partitions, your hard drive, and stuff. So let's get started. Let's get in. Now, Download VMware Fusion or get it. I recommend to buy that program, but you can also get it for free. Cat.ph, the Pirate Bay, anything else. And install it and make sure you download the latest version which supports your OS. Because, for example, if you have Mountain Lion, you need to download the version for that. So make sure. Make sure to Google it properly. So now, and when it's downloaded and installed, you need other thing which is Windows 8 RTM or professional any version of Windows ISO file so you download that from Torrent or Microsoft website or for developers or something but I just downloaded it from Torrent cat.ph and I may post the link in the description so okay now let's get started with it now click on file and click on new after you click new it says create new virtual machine right there okay now click on continue without the disk as you don't have disk right now with you now over this option click on this choose disk image and I'll click it twice now go to a disk image in case it's on desktop on my case and go to continue then it says Microsoft Windows then go here and choose Windows it's x64 if option doesn't appear in your virtual machine or uh, what's what's everything you just click on Windows 7 x64 and you're ready to go click continue and click finish okay now I'm gonna customize the settings so no I'm not gonna create I'm gonna create it on my Mac so this hard drive uh, is my external but you can create it on your internal one as well because you know yeah Okay, now it's the um, devices, and you can everything. This will, these things are uh, applied to your Windows 8. So keyboard and mouse will work, application menu and stuff. Now, if you want to add a device, click that and click. You can click ports. You can add printers. You can add CD drives. You can add external hard drives, flash drives, everything in it. So, okay. Now let's start the power it up. Now, when you click player here, just okay. Then it it will load and it will load the setup of the Windows. Uh, okay, let's just and press Command Control to really. Okay, now press Command Control to release it. I'm make it full screen. Okay, I'll be back after this is done. Okay, so now the setup is started. Now I'll click anything. I'm just clicking United States of America and go next. Gives it the keyboard input and click install now. Now it says setup. Setup is starting. So wait for it to start. It's pretty fast process. And the best part about this, it's not laggy at all. It's really good. Now click I accept license terms. Now next. Now click custom install. And 60. Now you're gonna click here. It says device zero. And allocate its price. So in here, you're gonna click next. And now it's installing. Copying Windows file, getting ready for install. It will be pretty fast as all of these things are happening through your hard drive and other stuff. So after this is completed, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so now this thing took me about, um, what, 10 minutes to do this? 10 to, yeah, 10 minutes, maybe 7 minutes to install a whole Windows into the virtual machine. So it's a lot, lot quicker than it was and anything else. So now it's restarting the virtual machine.
it will take little a bit of time because it's your first uh, Windows thinking that your computer is running first time on Windows. Actually, that's right, but whatever. Okay. It is getting devices ready. So now your trackpad and stuff are optimized for the Windows 8. So it's 100% now. It's really fairly fast. Okay, so I'll be back after this is done. Now it's done, and it's doing something else again. Come on, come on, oh dude, oh, it's taking a lot of time, okay, oh at last, at last, at last, we're here, so let's choose a color which is really cool, so I'm gonna choose black and blue, um, yeah, and then, alright, HP 2719, Okay. Virtual machine machine, okay? So go next and then yeah, go next. Oh dude it's too long. So I'm just uh HP twenty seven nineteen. Oops. Okay, that's better. Go. Choose express settings. And now I'm going to sign into my account that which is I'm not gonna show it to you. After I'm signed in, I'll be back. Now it will check my account and it'll verify it and ask for password. So I'll be back after that's done. Okay, now everything is done. Adding security. Oops, what the hell? Okay, now it's creating my account. Oh you can make a fake hotmail ID if you want, no problem. Whatever. Um yeah, it's gonna work because this is a virtual machine. But yeah, you may use it really, really, very, very much because it's absolutely perfect. Finalizing settings. Hi, um, we're getting things ready. Um, okay, so this will tell some weird stuff about the Windows 8. Uh, dude, I'm not using a tablet already. Okay, so. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so after it's done, I'll be back. Okay, so now we're on the desk, main desktop. Actually, we were here. Okay. And let's optimize the screen resolution first for my Mac. Mm, yeah, it's good. Ooh, it looks weird. So now command button is your start button to press it and it's look it's looking really natural as uh, we're touching the screen and stuff. Oh my god, okay. Uh this is showing my personal information. Fucking crap. Whatever, okay. So now as you can see it's installed and you can also go for virtual keyboard and write on it. Uh, stuff. So 
Okay, so your virtual machine is done, your Windows is ready, lag free, great. So, see you next time, next tutorial. Bye bye.